What's up YouTube and Amazon, Jefferson here with the Sardis page and this is the S-Zone canvas, briefcase and laptop bag. You can find this one in Amazon by the company named Penny Buying. Uh, they're really cool, check them out. I'm not endorsed or sponsored by them, but I do get a lot of my bags off of them just because I love the customer service, quality and everything is just amazing. I was actually in the market for something a little bit small uh, so I actually found this one in here, something like very compact and petite and um, I might be giving this to my brother, I'm not too sure yet, uh, just because um, this is like, kind of like the style he's actually going with. Uh, this bag is actually pretty interesting and the reason why I say that is just because of the design. It has a very unique design that makes this one uh, really awesome. It's very lightweight and there's a lot of leather trims in here. Uh, this is going to be a walkthrough and review just so you guys have a good idea on how well it would uh, look and how the compartments would actually kind of hold up. I'll also be doing a what's in my bag video for this particular bag. So if you guys don't see an annotation anywhere in this video, just make sure you guys keep an eye out and subscribe. Uh, with that said, let's just get right onto it. So uh, you have this leather strap right here and you can adjust it, which is really awesome. I like seeing, you know, straps that are very practical so you could adjust it right here make it bigger make it smaller or you could cut more holes to it it just really depends on you but you do have two pre-cut holes in here which is really nice it's held down with uh, magnetic buttons on here so let me show you real quick right here just unclasp that and it's quite interesting just because you have two magnetic buttons one right here and another right here so that's a total of Four, which is quite interesting in my opinion. You have these two right here. The actual buttons, it's thin. I've never actually seen a lot like this uh, before. And it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. I just, didn't want to, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, the top buttons are the regular, you know, traditional magnetic buttons right here. So this is the female side, right? The other side is the male side. Uh, but yeah, it's actually connected like that. And the cool thing about this as well is that if you have this bag really stuffed, you're able to kind of extend this bag. So instead of using the uh, first two, you're able to kind of uh, plug it in right here to these two right here. So for whatever reason you did, you know, overstuff this bag, you can kind of uh, use it like so. But I'm not too sure how well you guys are gonna actually use that. So that's actually really awesome. Uh, before we actually go inside, let me show you in the back. Well, let's start off with the side. So here's a side view of this bag. And it, there's nothing, you know, too crazy on this side. There's no pockets or anything right there. This is the back view, just a regular uh, messenger bag in that end. The other side is the same exact way as well. And here's the bottom. Uh, the bottom is really awesome because it's actually very, very thick in here, which is nice. You have two leather accents right here in the corners uh, and that actually helps with aesthetics, but also with practicality. Um, so I don't like, you know, when you have this kind of material on there in the side, just because it gets a little too big or, you know, it just feels weird. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys understand me on that. If you do have bags like that, then you might have a good understanding what I'm trying to say. But uh, having leather in here j uh, makes it more flexible, helps you get to a proper shape, in my opinion. That's pretty much it. So when you actually open up the flap, you are presented with these two pockets right here. The pocket right there is actually open pocket. So there's no zippers, there's no straps or anything to actually, you know, keep it in place so make sure you guys keep that in mind this is like perfect for things that you just want easy access on there it is going to be protected with this but if it's something a little bit slim or uh something that might slip out easily so just be careful kind of like you know pens uh pencils things like that where if you go like this it might kind of slip through uh so that's what i was actually trying to uh say and point out so the size in here is very, very long and deep. So from my fingertip, you're able to put two hands in there, fingertip all the way to my wrist line. It's actually right above it. So you have this much space in there, which is plenty of room uh, on both of these pockets, which is really, really awesome. Uh, when you open it up, 
right here. So here's the zipper. The material on here is really nice. It's very thick. Uh, this whole bag, the whole material is nice and thick. Uh, definitely helps out with longevity, so you're gonna have this for a long time. If you guys don't like this flap right here, just make sure you tuck that in if it's not already tucked in. So that's just a, a zipper. And what I like about that is this. So the, the purpose of this zipper, if you guys don't know what it is, is that it actually helps zips and unzips your things in there. So that's actually the purpose of it. Definitely helps out, but if you guys don't like that peeking out, which I don't, just make sure you guys tuck that in and then you won't have any issues with that side. So unzip and then you are good to go. So here's the inside right here. And there's really nothing much. It's very compact bag. And I like that personally. So let's see if we could add more light. Perfect. So you have this zipper right here, this front zipper. Uh, the zipper itself is not plastic, but it's actual metal right here. The tab that actually opens up the zipper, which is really nice. Uh, you have a small pocket right here, but you're able to put two hands, uh, fingertip all the way to wrist line. It actually goes right in between the palm area. So between my palm, the baseline of my palm, which is actually a good amount of space to be quite frank. You have your laptop space right here. It's actually perfect for a 13 inch laptop in that end. And I like how small this tab is. So when you clip that on, it keeps everything intact. It is elastic as well. So if you did want to put a little something bulky in there, you can as well. Just make sure it's nothing too big. Uh, that's pretty much it in this side. The divider for the laptop is actually pretty thick, uh, good for protection. This side right here, it's not that protected. Bottom is slightly protected, but this divider itself is actually a good amount of cushion, which is really nice. Other side, you have several, uh, you know, compartments. You have two pockets right here. Uh, which is really nice. Left is actually slightly smaller than the right one right here. And you do have two pen or pencil or whatever you want to kind of put in here, which is nice. Uh, this one for the pencil is not open. So they are all closed. Uh, really depends on you if you like that or not. Me personally, I like it when it's open just because you could place, you know, like longer pencils or pens or whatever you want to place in there. But just looking at the size of this, that's actually you know long enough. So you won't have much issues on that end. You do have a good amount of spacing on here right after the laptop. So you're able to put a good amount of stuff, which is really awesome as well. Uh, that's pretty much it in the interior. There's really not much. It's a very straightforward bag. Uh, all in all, I really like it. And it is crazy horse. So if you guys are curious on what that means, uh, all these patterns right here, it actually comes like that. If you scratch a line right there, uh, it would stay on there. It's not like you could kind of like wash it off or come and take it off. That's the whole purpose of a crazy horse leather. It gives it off that nice vintage look. So if you were to do anything with it, it would stay on there, the pattern at least, but it won't affect the leather at all. So it just really depends on you. It's all personal preference. I like that. The clamps right here, <clears throat> on the shoulder strap is uh, pretty interesting as well. It has a safety mechanism, which I personally like a lot. So let me show you. So the, uh, the safety mechanism right here, so if you were to accidentally open it up, it still locks in like so. You have to push all the way down in order to open it up. So I like that because you won't accidentally you know, open it up, uh, which is nice and it slipping out of your hand. So that's a really nice plus right uh, on that end. Uh, this is, 360 degrees rotatable, which is nice because there's no wrong way to actually open it, which is a good plus. Uh, the fabric on this shoulder strap is not bad. Not, I'm not a huge fan, but it's, you know, it's not the worst I've actually experienced. Uh, reason why I say that is just because I, I'm so used to, you know, seeing leather in here, but since this is like a very baseline, you know, messenger bag, you can't go wrong with it. There's a lot of bags that has this kind of material. Very easy to adjust as well, so it's not difficult, which is really nice. Uh, the metal right here is really nice, very sturdy. Never had any issues uh, yet, uh, but I do want to say I never experienced any issues, so I didn't want to come off wrong right there. Other side is the same exact thing as well. Uh, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I like to keep my tags 
on there uh, just because, I don't know, that's just me, but uh, if it comes off, it comes off, but I like to keep my tags in there. That's just the type of person I am. Uh, here's the back right here. You do have two uh, metal uh, rings right here, and the reason why, I forgot to mention this, I'm sorry guys. Uh, there is a button right here, and you do have a pocket. So I forgot to mention that before, but you do have a pocket right here, connected via magnetic buttons on that end, and you know, it just really depends on you. I won't recommend putting, you know, like a really thick or bulky things in there, just more of, um, you know, papers, bills, things like that, so it doesn't look obvious um, if you guys were to place this down. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's the S-Zone messenger bag. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. My name is Jefferson. This is a really nice messenger bag. Keep an eye out for the what's in my bag video for this one. And like always, guys, take care.